Hey guys and welcome to something a bit different today. So we are going to be going on a trip down memory lane and playing so many old FIFAs. I've got so many here that hopefully in today's video I can go through a few. And we're going to start off today with FIFA 2003. Fun fact, when I was about four years old I used to support Man United. So let's go with Man United. Let's play up against. Let's go with... Chelsea, why not? So we'll go with Man United versus Chelsea, obviously with the old kits, as you can see there. We're playing at Old Trafford. What other stadiums are here back in the day? There's obviously Highbury, Anfield, there's so many old stadiums here, but let's go with Old Trafford. So I'm actually using an Xbox 360 controller, but there is the old Xbox, the original Xbox controller, and basically I played this game when I was about, what, three or four years old? I thought... The way to score was to go into your own goal, which is so stupid. So basically, I got it from kickoff, ran all the way into my own goal. I thought I was winning like 24 0, but no, I was losing. Uh, but let's get into the game and let's see what's what. It shows how old this game was. It was back in 2003. That was when John Motson was a commentator on FIFA. And this is basically the first FIFA I ever played. So, how good am I at this game? I'm playing on amateur, by the way, so I should hopefully win this against Chelsea. As we've got an early attack here with Van Nistelrooy. Back into Keane. Okay, who's this? It's Beckham on the ball. Who finds Skulls. Can Skulls finish this one? And what a start. Three minutes in. Paul Skulls has scored. Okay, here goes. I see Beckham free on the right hand side. Beckham inside. Let's go with the shot here with Beckham. And it's a good save. And this is so strange compared to where we are now at FIFA 15. How different this game is. And it's actually a lot of fun at the moment. I, the thing is, I don't know how to play this game. I don't have a clue how to tackle. Oh, yeah, we've got a tackle there, as I said that. Here goes Skulls, basically a barber on this game. It Skulls into the box, and that's a terrible shot. And look, you just get it straight back. They just they don't even want the ball at the moment. And now Skulls through again, and it's 2-0. 16 minutes gone. Skulls is the newer barber on this game. He is just incredible. I, just, I know I'm an amateur, but still, it's good to score goals in this game. And Skulls puts it past the goalkeeper, and we are 2-0 up on my return to FIFA 2003. Van Nistelrooy is just going to run with it, and cut inside. It's Van Nistelrooy, and it is 3-0, 20 minutes gone. Chelsea on the attack now, and I've missed the tackle. How do you select a player? Slide tackle, I've missed that as well. He just doesn't want to run, though. I can't select him, and he's missed it. <laughs> How do you miss that? You've clearly mastered the amateur difficulty. Okay, why don't FIFA do this in, like, FIFA 15? Well, that's a good idea. So now they've realised that I'm too good for them and they've put it up to semi. Oh my god, let's make the tackle. I didn't take him and Chelsea have scored. It's good Johnson back in the day who has scored the goal here for Chelsea. I didn't know how to select a player. I think it's A to select it. But good Johnson's gone and scored the goal on the mark of half time. And there we are, guys. The end of the first half. It is finished 3 1. I'm not going to play any more this game because I've got, seriously, so many FIFAs to get through. That's only one batch of them. We've got some more here. So here we are, guys, into FIFA 07. The first one on Xbox 360. And the first one I properly played as well. So let's get into it. And the, obviously, Ronaldinho and Wayne Rooney back on the game. Of course, this was the first year there was the arena. And this is also the first first year uh, it was on Xbox 360 so you remember the, the arena this was the first year it was ever on the game and it's been a long time uh, this actually been on the game as well and they couldn't do any skills uh, but yeah let's get into a game right let's change up for this game let's go with a different league let's go with maybe let's go with Barcelona why not let's go against Tottenham Hotspurs uh, let's see what's what let's look at my team here Lionel Messi Ronaldinho Eto back in the day Ed Milson there's so many Players have just gone from now. This just been so long ago. Iniesta on the bench as well. Here goes Ronaldinho, the man. Ronaldinho, let's go with the shot. That's a good start though. Two minutes gone. Ronaldinho with the chance just going wide of the mark. It's funny that you still hear some of the commentary lines that you hear in FIFA 15. They've just not updated them in like, what, seven or eight years now? It's been the same like commentary lines from Martin Tyler. I just don't understand. It feels like I don't have any control of the players. It's like they're doing their own thing. Here goes Eto though. Eto into the middle. It's Samuel Eto. What a save from Paul Robinson there. I think that was a Tottenham goalie back then. But Eto just went through the whole defence. Deco's now got the corner. Going for the back post to Ronaldinho. And now Tottenham on the break. Oh my god, it's Jermaine Genus. Oh my god. And Dimitar Berbatov through the middle. Eto now through. Can he get there? Oh my, what's happened? It's Eto. What a save. Eto is there. And we got the goal. 37 minutes gone. Samuel Eto is an animal back in this game. He must have had like 95 pace back here. But look at that. Ledley King. Get out of the way. Look at that. Just push him out of the way. Lucky with the rebound. 
Eto scores a goal and we now taken the lead. Yes, there we go. Ronaldinho now through. He must have the pace. Look at that pace there from Ronaldinho. Cut inside. So easy for him. Into the box. Ronaldinho and he's just missed it. I thought he'd scored that. Just missed the target there. Look at this from Ronaldinho. And that's just wide of the mark. Would have been 2-0. Yes, here we go. Give it to Ronaldinho. Go with the heavy touch. Heavy touch past the defender. It's Lely King, I think. Ronaldinho now is through. And it's a good save. Went for the near post OP. And the goalkeeper is equal to it. We've been dominating this game so far. Go for the short corner. Okay. Silvino now getting into the box. Eto is there. Eto. And he's just missed it. Oh, my God. Yes. Deco is too good. Play it through. Why don't they listen to me? Listen to me. This is ridiculous. I'm like spamming the ball and then they don't do it. Oh, what a tackle. That is a perfect example of how to tackle on FIFA 07 right there. Oh, I can't defend. I can't defend. And oh my God, he's hit the side. Oh, what, the side netting? Yeah, totally the side netting. I think that's Jermaine Defoe right there. Look how sweaty he is. You, you see how sweaty Defoe was. One thing I found about this game is that uh, Eto is OP. So if you ever want to go back to FIFA 07, use Barcelona because Eto is ridiculous. He basically won me the game. And let's get it through again to Eto. Here he goes. Look at that. It's Eto now through. Look at the pace there. Cut back inside. It's Samuel Eto. And he's just missed it. I can't score again. So I've won a game on FIFA 07. Not something I've said for a long time, but there we are. Eto scores the winning goal. Let's move on now to the next FIFA. And I've got a few more here. I've got FIFA 08, which I'm going to miss out because, in my opinion, uh, from what I remember and what I've seen on YouTube, that FIFA 08 is kind of similar to FIFA 07. FIFA 09, which is kind of similar as well. Uh, but what I'm going to go with is going to be FIFA 10. This game I played so much. Seriously so much and I'm going to show you some of my old career modes as well so let's get into it so here we are into FIFA 10 this is I think the first year that Ulmer team was in the game as well uh, but let's see what happens I think you had to pay for it back in the day and oh wait look at that forgot that the A servers were as bad as usual uh, but let's have a look at some things here I'm going to start off by looking at some of my old manager modes yes this is a one guys this is the career mode I played for so long. So you can see the date. It is currently 2013. This game came out in, I think, what was it? 2009. So FIFA 10 came out in, yeah, it was. So 2009. And basically, I played this FIFA or this career mode for so long. You see the confidence of full in me as well. And basically, Wolfsburg were my team back then because this, I think, it was a year they won the league as well. So I thought, why not use them in a, in a, a career mode series and let's get into it. So let's have a look at my team. And you can already see how good my team is. And this is the first time I've seen it for so long because I've tried so many times to look at this team. Got Steven Island. Why did I buy Steven Island? What was going through my head when I was like, what, nine years old at this point? Uh, got Theo Walker. Obviously, still love the pace back then. 90 acceleration. And what skill moves he got? Is this the year when everyone had five star skill moves? I think it was. So there we are. Uh, got Dean Maria on the left hand side. There he is. Uh, we've got Gulkoff in the middle, who was one of my favourite players uh, back then as well. And look at him. He's, I think, 94 rated as well. Uh, got Hulk on the right striker. Got Martins on the left striker. Uh, he was just incredible. Look at that. 99 acceleration back then that is just absolutely incredible and it's just ridiculous i played this game for so long so there we are uh there we are so anyway on my bench i've got graphite who was uh one of the good uh, one of the original Wolfsburg players back then uh we've got dj my virtual pro which i'll show you in a moment uh we've got kallenberg i actually remember all of these players it's actually stupid it's so long ago uh, but I do actually remember playing this uh, career mode series. But anyway, let's get into the game and let's see how good this team is. So now we are three years on from FIFA 07. The arena looks a lot better now. Uh, shooting's a lot better as well, which I've noticed. But let's get into the game. What is like the open... No, I can't believe it. I wanted to play this game so badly. About to get into the game and the disc is unreadable. I can't believe that. I do actually want to show you one more thing. Because I think maybe it's to do with the fact that the gameplay, it just can't cope with it. I do want to show you basically my uh, virtual pro stats, uh, but what I want to show you is my virtual pro. So let's go into my skills and stats, and I haven't seen this in a long time, but I played this mode so long. Uh, so I played 203 games, I won 185 of them as well, and let's have a look at this. What is all this stuff? So I played so much of this game, like ridiculous amount. 
and also there's live seasons as well and here is live seasons basically you have the real life uh, fixtures going on as they are do as they basically happen but you play as one team and you basically try and recreate the history and try and get to the top as you can see here so this is a mode that I think this should be returning to FIFA and it actually looks pretty good as well so you've got the injuries and that kind of thing transfers uh, that have actually happened in real life all you have to do is play with the team but I do remember playing, I think paying maybe, I think £10 for this mode. Like, what was I doing? So, this is how it works. So, I pick, I remember picking Chelsea for this. I have no idea why. But anyway, what it did was it downloaded the fixtures in real life. And you basically played the match. And I don't think it counted your result or the real life result. I don't have a clue. Uh, but I remember that was a good mode back in the game. But I don't know why I spent... So much money on that, but now we have got a few more FIFAs to go. We've got FIFA 13 coming up. We've also got FIFA 11, which I'm going to play next. And actually, before that, let's go into 2010 South Africa World Cup. This game was incredible. I remember all this stuff, all the music and that kind of thing. This is a 2010 FIFA World Cup game from South Africa, and I played this game. Yeah, like with FIFA 10, I played that game so much as well. And again, I'm expecting the servers not to work. Yeah, there we go. So the EA servers are not available at the time. Uh, but yeah, let's get into a game. These graphics, holy, oh my god, these are actually pretty good graphics. Uh, we're playing for the World Cup final. Suddenly we're in the World Cup final against Holland. And I actually really want to win this game. This is when they had the managers. I uh, should have been Argentina, so I saw Maradona back in the day. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the game. The graphics are surprisingly good. I would have thought they wouldn't mean this good. Uh, it actually looks pretty good, but why is the pitch so different colour to what it is now? It just looks so strange. But let's get into the game on Legendary as well. And, oh, this is going to be so tough. Up the line to Podolski. This feels a lot better than it did on FIFA 10. Oh, Podolski with the skills. Podolski's pass two. Podolski into the middle. Oh, my God. I was trying to look for my pro in the end, but we got it back with Kadira. Here we go. There we go in Muller. Right, I need to get my pro in a good position. Back post, head that in. Oh, I've just missed it. That could have been the goal. And yeah, it shows the managers. That is, why isn't that on the game? Now you just get some stupid, like, uh, slender man as your manager. But back then, there were some absolutely fantastic graphics. Uh, this is 360 as well, but uh, I don't know why they're not on the game anymore. Yes, this is good. This is pass and move play. I've unleashed Ozil, but he's got no pace. And he's got it back, though. And oh, it's going to be a free kick. Like, why is that a free kick? The passing is so good on this game. Look, look at this. You can just play one twos for days. Here we go. One twos. Easily done. I see the run main made there from Schweinsteiger. And I've lost it. Okay, here goes this absolutely incredible Netherlands attack. They've got Robin, Van Persie, all in their prime as well. Here goes Ozil though. Ozil with the pace. Get into the box. Here goes Muller. And we are one nil up in the World Cup final. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm beating Legendary at the moment. And all the replays again, look how good this looks. Like this game, it just brings back so many memories of just absolutely sweating this game out. It's an easy finish in the end. Here we go. Podolski into the box. Look at that for a turn. Get it into the box. Oh, I was trying to look for Muller yet again. I want to score with my virtual pro in this game though. This game moves so quickly. There's like so much happening. I can't keep up with it. That should be ours. Like let's counter. Bertain on the ball, finding Podolski. And look at this. Look how quick Podolski is. And let's look now for DJ in the middle. Here he goes with Ozil finding Muller. This is what Germany were good at back in the day, just counter-attacking like crazy. And now that's gone to no one. And it's, okay, why not head out of play? This game is just fun. Like, it's so quick. Here goes DJ throwing goal. Cut back inside. Finish. That's a penalty. Yes, we got ourselves a penalty. The manager's pretty mad at that as well. But I'm going to take it. You know who's going to take it. It is going to be my virtual pro who's going to take this one. And obviously he's a German guy, so he's going to score the penalty, hopefully. Uh, but let's go for the top left-hand corner. And there we are. We have scored the second goal. That must be the sealer for the World Cup. And just as I said, I wanted to seal the World Cup. There we are, making a 2-0. And this game is so fun. Like, how quickly it moves as well. Lucas Podolski now. Look at this pace. Play the 1-2. It's DJ. Look at this. You just can't deal with him. Into Muller. Muller, let's look for the back post. It's Podolski and it is 3-0. How am I winning 3-0 against Holland in, on Legendary in the World Cup final? We have smashed them in this game. Yes, go for the fourth goal. Cut inside with the ball roll and back outside. Cut inside. Oh, I want another penalty. I just want to score again. And I think we're in the last minute now. We are one minute away from our World Cup glory. 
Let's go. There we are. The full time whistle's been blown. We have won the World Cup. Let's have a look at the scenes. And oh, this is such a fun game to play. And it's just so many cutscenes. I just want to see the World Cup trophy being handed out. There is my pro there, uh, number seven DJ. There's Joachim Low as well. Uh, looking like pretty good for like a, a five year old game. That's how good the graphics were on this game. Uh, but look at the World Cup. The graphics aren't too bad as well, which is just amazing so FIFA did or EA did a fantastic job with this game and there we are Lam just lift the trophy we have won the World Cup and now we have got a few more games to go so now we have got FIFA 11 here and we've also got what is this FIFA 13 here so I might say FIFA 13 maybe uh, but basically I've got two games in this disc I've got FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 as well so we're going to start off with FIFA 11 then we'll move on to FIFA 12 and that'll probably be the final game I do play FIFA 11 time let's get into this one I don't really have too many memories about this game uh, but I just want to see what it looks like compared to that 2010 World Cup game it's going to be something pretty special if we can beat that oh my god the chops are so good back here cut back inside and finesse shot it's just oh I can't wait to get into this game now Oh, my team, I don't think you can get into this one either, so I'll leave that. So, let's get into this game. We're going to go Dortmund versus Bayern, and this is either the year before or after Dortmund's first trophy. If you guys know in the comments, leave it down below, but let's get into this game. Uh, so, this is pretty much a similar team to what it is now, which is a great job from Jurgen Klopp, keeping the team as it is. Uh, but yeah, who have we got on the bench? Let's have a look. So, we've got Felipe Santana. No way he's not playing, so let's take him out for Subotic. And also, who else we got? We have got uh, Zidane or Zidane, whatever he's pronounced, so I won't use him. Uh, there's Lewandowski, why not? Let's use Lewandowski. And obviously, no Marco Royce, no Bamiyan. There's Kagawa as well, who was one of the main players in Dortmund's trophy winning season. Okay, that camera angle, we're not having that. I did mention this earlier in the video that I played on the most ridiculous camera angle. But let's go with whatever the default was, which I think was Telly uh, back then. So let's go with this. And yeah, the graphics look so far not too bad. Uh, compared to FIFA 15, obviously they're a long way away. But compared to like the last FIFA 14, I think it was before it moved on to next gen. This actually looks pretty good. So I'm actually looking forward uh, to playing this game. Not worked. And now Ribery, look at that dribbling there. It just shows how legendary, how better legendary was compared uh, to the World Cup game. Look at that through to Goetze. Goetze now throw on goal. Back across. It's Lewandowski. And the sweat is real, guys. The sweat is real. Lewandowski with the goal after only nine minutes. But I can tell this game is going to be a lot tougher. Just judging by the first time, uh, nine minutes. Yeah, the passing is real, guys. Out to Blasikowski. Play the one-two. This is absolutely unbelievable football. Blasikowski inside. That should be a corner. No, it's not. Uh, but this is when FIFA was fun. Like, why isn't it like this anymore? Just arcadey style. It just it feels so much better to play. Oh God, Gomez is now through. Take him out. Gomez with a shot. Weidenfeller is there. This is when Gomez was good as well. But I mean it. This is I think the season after they won the champion or the uh, they uh, came runners up in the Champions League. And now Gomez once again. That's a great tack from Piszczek. And I think so far in this episode or this video, I haven't actually lost. So let's try and keep that. And now it's Robin or Ribery through on goal now. Ribery finding the run, and that's an easy bit of goalkeeping for Weidenfella. Oh, God, Ribery. Oh, he's got him skills. You'd never see CPU do skills. Oh, what's well, safe from Weidenfella? Keep that. Get to that Santana. Obviously, Santana. We're like, okay, he's giving it back to him. That's not like Santana right there. And now they're back on the ball. It's too easy. What a tackle though, and we're keeping it at 1-0. This is great defending right here. Uh, but there we are, guys. End of the first half. I'm actually going to leave it here with the gameplay side of FIFA 11 because I was playing by mistake eight minutes and a half. Uh, so it means I've been sitting here for like half an hour uh, so far. So there we are. I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to look through some of my old career mode as uh, something, obviously, yeah, a lot of you guys are career mode fans. Uh, so let's go and do that. So what did I do or what did career mode look like back in the day? That's what we're going to go and find out. So this is what it looked like. And I remember as soon as I saw this, uh, the calendar was the worst thing about this game. It took about, genuinely, about 10 years to sim to the 26th. That's how long it took. But anyway, so that is going to be the end of my FIFA trip down memory lane. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like on the video and leave a comment down below with your favourite ever FIFA. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, also, let's go and check out my Twitter and my Instagram down below in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you for a new video tomorrow.